everyone, this is Scott Leroy of Scott Leroy Marketing coming in for another weekly update. And today's update is on the new launch of the websites. All right, so in this case, the new KW Command websites are officially live if you want to utilize them. All right, you'll notice I put it on there. It's if you want to use them. You're not obligated to upgrade by any means. You can hold off if you want to wait for a, a couple of additional features maybe that you really want to have on your site before you move over. All right, but if you do want to jump in on the early stages, they're now available for you to utilize. So in the past two videos, we talked about how you can actually go through and see how to upgrade to the new website, how to go through and make sure that you're prepared to upgrade. But now we're going to take a look at what that back end is going to look like. So if we click on our KW logo up here at the top left, we're going to select consumer. You don't have to click on it. I just like to see everything visually. All right. Now everything is going to be under that consumer back end, that consumer applet on here. And when we click on this, you're going to notice this is a different view than what you may be used to. So on here, you're going to see my websites, testimonials, collections. That's going to be a little bit different than what you had before, where it was having, you know, the different pages, different site pages, different landing pages. On here, before you click on edit my website, which will take you to the editor, you're going to have where you can actually view what your URL is. So if you want to change your subdomain, you can. You can view what your app URL is. You can see different preferences on here, like, hey, do I actually want to display Keller Home Loans on my app and site? Do I want to display Keller Covered on my app and site? Do I want to display neighborhoods on my agent site? And then you can also see your forced registration. All right, so completely up to you as to how many property limits you want to add inside on there. All right, but if you want to update any of these items, specifically that subdomain URL, you can. All right. Now to get an idea as to what this is going to look like, I'm going to click on edit my site and this is going to take me over to the other backend portal through Brightspot. So now I can see here's where I can check out my agent website. So I can open this up. And then of course a few items that you can do right now. Now as more items populate, you'll be able to see where you can add them in up here, especially in that quick start section or through the plus sign up here at the top. So definitely take a look at that so you can see everything possible that's available. Whether you want to add inside a new blog post, image, as we can see on here, we've got the page navigation, testimonial, videos. That'll be accessible for us to use. All right. This is where we can actually go through and edit our website and see different items that we can add in. So if I want to edit my home page, for instance, I can click this home page option. All right. And then this will give me the different items that are available on the home page for me to go through and adjust. So if I now want to go through and I want to adjust my listing search module, I can go through, I can put inside a different title on here. I can upload different images, change my hero images if I want to make it more local focused or maybe something based on what I had on my prior site. I can now go through and update my featured properties. So something that was different from before on the old website, you had to put inside each property specifically and you can do that, but I can change the title. I can see on here, hey, it's going to pull up based on location. I can go on here and I can specify I want to search for properties within a 25 or a 20 mile radius on here. I only want to display up to 10 featured properties. I want to do recently updated or I can specify different options. And then on here I can add inside other featured properties. So if I want to add a specific listing that maybe is mine, I can do that. All right. Or I can go through and specify I only want certain properties to display. So maybe in this case, and I've added in a couple of these, so you'll notice mine might be a little bit different, but I only want to show properties that are for sale, that are active, that are homes, that have a minimum of two baths, three bedroom, 2,000 square feet. Maybe I want to go between 400,000 and 100, or sorry, 1,500,000. Maybe that's my sweet spot on here. Is that? That's good. All right, or even specific keywords. All right, now you'll notice as I updated that, this also updated because we're seeing our preview on here and I can see my work in progress saved. I haven't saved anything, but I can see my work in progress saved on here. All right, if I've added any testimonials, I can update that on here as well too and add them in directly. If I want to add any of my own feature testimonials that maybe I've put in myself, you know, obviously, or maybe someone else has left. And then of course, I can also see my blog on here. Now it's going to say my blog, buyer's guide, those are the four blogs that KWRI has already automatically created for you. So if you want to go inside, if you want to add additional blogs, you can, once again, from this plus sign, we have a blog post section. All right, or you can go through and adjust the title on here. Maybe I just want to put this as my blog instead of my blog buyer's guide, and I can update that right away too. So completely up to y'all, and you'll see everything adjusting as well.
There we go. All right, so a lot of things that can be changed on here. So I'm going to click the Save option, a lot of things that can be updated. And if I ever need to go back to my editing section on my home page, I can click that KW logo, and that's going to take me right back over here to start to update this immediately. All right, so that is a quick update of the backend editor. Obviously, you can go through additional pages on here to see what is accessible to update. We can even click on these three drop down or the little hamburger or condensed menu, however you want to look at that, and look at our organization site on here. So if we want to go through here, if we want to change the name, if you want to add inside a vanity URL, all right, if you want to change any additional info on here, adding Google Analytics, all right, we're going to have some different optionality available on here. That's all from the three lines up here for that hamburger menu under organization site. Or if you want to change some certain items as well at the top right, we can always come over here and click on our name. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. We can click on our email. My apologies. And select profile on here. And this allows us to update some profile information, including what's the name we're going to display. You know, what's our email? What's our username? Obviously for signing in. But in this case, if there's certain things you want to adjust on here, you can update that as well too. All right. Now looking at the site on here, as we can see, all of our information is automatically populating on here. I've got our featured properties set up. If I come down here, I've got my blog. If I had any testimonials, they would pop up right here. And if I refresh this page as well too, I'll be able to actually see some additional updates that I did. All right, so on here for featured properties, oh, I guess I haven't saved it quite yet. I apologize. Should go back and make sure that saves. This will pop up correctly, where this will actually be between that amount and then obviously update the my blog section. All right, but then we can actually see all the extra items like about me, search properties, blog, and then of course under more, leave a review right now. Now remember, this is day one of this site being active, so not as many things will be customizable. That'll obviously adjust as time goes on, but here's what your new site will look like, and it's a fantastic site for people to go through and start to search for properties right away. This will be a great option to share with all of your clients, anyone that might be looking to potentially buy or sell to utilize everything immediately on here. So there you go. So that is a quick overview of the new site, how to access the back end, and of course some quick updates on where you can change a few items. So be on the lookout for some additional tips to help out even further on there as well too. All right, but there you go. That is your KDB command tip for the day.